continue with the part two. In the second part, uh, Twilight and Spike, they get ganged up on when there's Pinky and Fluttershy, and then you put the Pinky and Fluttershy like, y'all, say to us, y'all some chances, ain't ya? Twilight and Spike are like, no, we're not changing, no, 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 no. It's like, well, you heard him, let's kill him. But just the soon as they're trying to attack them, but then there's a, there's a Korra, she's out of there, and she's like the leader, and she's just like, like, hold up. And then they try to see, like, this group, to see if they're changing, and it's, it's just like, and then, uh, there's a Korra, they see if they start to glow, and it's like, <sighs> oh, snap, something ain't right. And then just so, they start to, so Twilight explains what happened, to what happened with the time wars and Starlight like Glimmer and yeah and so they end up going to their camp because like all the ponies with Pinky and Flesh Eye and all of them they seem to be a refugee because they think with the, the change that took over it's a, yeah so it's the opposite time of the change that took over Queen Crystal's reign supreme and it's like yeah it's like, yeah but they have the camp but it's pretty much a safe haven for all the other ponies that have been, that really didn't get to, uh, that didn't, that didn't get caught by Christmas or anything like that. Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Applejack show up and they're like, oh man, <sighs> Pony Blue, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like talking about Pony Blue being attacked, everything, everything's like, everything's going crazy, and Applejack shows up and says, I didn't think I did find y'all. And it turns out it's Queen Chrysalis and the fact that they were actually safe because there's a whole bunch of other ponies there that were already changed. Like, they just changed their numbers. Like, Eric was like, why don't you go ahead and give it up? Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. So that's the, and then the court was like, no. So they go on a big fight and finally gets out of there. Uh, and then it goes back to Time Warp to go right back to where Starlight Glimmer is trying to stop Rainbow Dash from doing the, from doing the Sonic Rainbow. But this time, they're gonna start fighting. That's funny because just as Twilight and Starlight are gonna fighting, Rainbow Dash is actually doing the race, she's winning, and just like, she stops and like, ooh, look at that. She just gets down with the bullets and she's eating popcorn and stuff, like, and then stop. And it's like, yeah. Remember, it's like, why don't you stop? Keep fighting! Fight! <laughs> oh my gosh. They have to go back again into the time war, and this time, they get transported, like, at night. And they get transported at night, and it's like, hold up. This is, this is weird. We don't, like, we get, we get transported back to this part, but we're not even transported back to, we get transported back in time, but it's still daytime, but now we get transported here, and it's still night. So they have to go back to the time world, and they will end up ending in somewhere near the, the, the forest, most likely, yeah, it's probably there. But, uh, <clears throat> it's like, it's at night time, they think, yeah, we get transported to the daytime, but you get back in time in the daytime, <laughs> And, uh, but we don't ever get chased for that night. Where they get chased down from Timberwolves and they try to get, and they get out of there safely. They see the castle of the two sisters, the original castle. But so they're like, oh snap. This cannot be good. They're walking around and it's like, they're walking around and it's like, hey. And then they run into red and they're like, hey, what y'all doing here? What y'all doing here? And, uh, what y'all doing here? We don't have walk-ins for anybody. What, 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 what you got going on here? And it's like, try, trying to explain everything that's going on to her. It's just like, that really sucks. They realize that it's an alternate timeline where Night and the Moon actually put uh, Celestia on the moon. And, yeah. And it's like, and so, they were like, this close to getting it. And then Todd's like, wait, 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 wait. I can, I know time traveling spells. Like, and that one was like, time travel? Hmm. 
Nike. So, Twy, Twy has takes up the, takes up to the, takes to the map, and she's like, now I have the power to transport myself through time. And then it's just like, but then it's just like, oh my goodness. So she kind of just tricks, she kind of just tricks out the mood, disappears, and then goes back to time warp again. So they have to go back to the time warp, and they end up ending in somewhere near the, the, the forest, most likely, yeah, it's probably there. But, uh, <clears throat> it's like, it's at night time. It's like, yeah, we get transported to the daytime, but you get back in time in the daytime, <clears throat> and, uh, but we don't ever get transported at night. Whereas they get chased down from the Timber Wolf, and they try to get, they get out of there safely, and see the castle of the two sisters, the original castle. But so they're like, oh, snap. This cannot be good. They're walking around, and it's like, they're walking around and just like, hey. And then they run into red and they're like, hey, what y'all doing here? What y'all doing here? And, uh, what y'all doing here? We don't have walk-ins for anybody. What, what, what you got going on here? And it's like, try, trying to explain everything that's going on to her. And she's like, that really sucks to realize that it's an alternate timeline where Nightmare Moon actually put uh, Celestia on the moon, and yeah, and it's like, and so they were like this close to getting it, and then Ty's like, wait, 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 wait. I can, I know time traveling spells. Like Nightmare Moon's like time travel. Hmm, lucky. So Ty and Ty has to take up the takes her to the takes to the map and she's like now I have the power to transport myself through time and then it's just like but then it's just like oh my goodness so she kind of just tricks she kind of just tricks out the mood disappears and then goes back to the time warp again and when she gets out of the time warp she goes to she goes right where Starlight Gun was just about to show up and blast her and frozen and freezes her ice like she did Twilight earlier, and uh, so then all of a sudden they start doing. So then all of a sudden, uh, Starlight starts. Uh, Twilight starts to keep going back in time over and over again. While Starlight keeps stopping, Twilight keeps not uh, keeps stopping Rainbow Dash and the Sign Rainbow, and keeps taking them back to different alternate dimensions. Where one, where where T Rex reigns supreme. And another one where Discord ranks supreme, he never reformed, he never, he never learned to be a good friend like he has, and it's just like, wow. And it's like, in the, in the Twilight comes back out and says, stop! Because if we keep doing this, we're gonna be, because if we keep doing this, we're gonna be doing it for all eternity. And then, so I was like, I ain't got nothing else to do. I used to have a village to run, I used to have a village I used to run, but, uh, let's see. You and about five other chicks, y'all really messed that up for me. So, Twilight's like, you know what? You've been doing all this stuff. I'm gonna show you what you've been doing. So she takes Starlight to this uh another alternate feature where it's like it's bleak and it's a barren wasteland and like nothingness and it's like. Started like, really? Yeah, this is what you've been doing, and this is what I've been. We've been singing because if you keep doing, I mean, I know I, I can't beat you. You're actually pretty good at magic, but if I had to show you this, maybe it could convince you. So I wouldn't have none of that. Cause he's like, you don't know me. You know what I've been through. How I what I had to, how much work I had to get just to get it done. But you know what? Since you've been showing me something, I'm gonna show you something. Another time war. But they go back in time to when Starlight was younger, and she was with a friend, and her friend ended up getting, you know, like, they were playing a game with books, like, kinda like Jenga, and the books fall, they're about to fall on Starlight. He was just, he kinda acted like she was a friend, acted like the powers, with all the books back in the shelf, and the game's cheating right back. And he leaves, and all the other ponies are, like, cheering him on, and Starlight just, just heartbroken. It's like it's 
And so she used to go on to talk about that. I didn't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen no more. I just didn't want that to happen anymore with anybody else I cared about. And that's why I did what I did. That's why I wanted everybody to be equal. And that nobody would feel superior. Just because they had a certain cutie mark. And this, this, and that. And yeah. So then Starlight takes uh, Clyde and Spike back to, back to where... They were going like, like she was gonna go stop Rainbow Dash and find Rainbow, and then it's just like, you know what? You know what? I got something for you and you. Because now, because she takes the scroll away from Spike, the one she used to start the author Star Scroll the bearded spell for time travel, and then just like, yeah, you know what? I got something just for you. So she starts trying to rip it to pee, rip it in half. It's like once it's gone. Y'all gonna be able to change nothing. And then you will be suffering like I have did. And so like, and so like, oh my gosh. And so Twilight's like, oh my gosh, we got to stop this madness. And Twilight trying to convince Twilight, like, no, 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 you do not want to do that. Cause I was seeing where this leads. And it's not pretty. Trust me. Every version of it is not pretty. <laughs> and so I was like, now that you only show me the stuff you want, you probably show me that as a fake. I'm gonna tear this thing apart, and it's gonna be all over for you. And your friend, it'll be back in two. <sighs> but, um, yes. And then, and then Twilight's like, I, yeah, I mean, oh, like, I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know what kind of pain you went through with your friend back in the past. And I don't know, like, but, if you, but I know, if you mess up that page, if you mess up that page, that spell, that scroll, we're all screwed, like extra hard. And so, like, start like, like, how in the world are you? How in the world are you out of name six so special? And it's just like, no, I was like, it's cause. Because it's what makes it all the different things we got going on. It makes us all special. And then, and so like, we try to pretty much pretty fully convince us to try to try to make amends of friends, like she did with Moon Dancer, and try to try to make new friends and, and chill out. So I like, finally gives up and thus the, and gives up the scroll, and thus the Sonic Rainbow happens. Setting off that magical chain reaction to make the main six the main six. And they go back, the scroll reverses itself and it goes away. But then all of a sudden, the rest of the main six, so in the present time, show up and like, well, what the heck going on here? And it's just like, oh, it's just like, they all see stars, it's like, oh snap. We got you want me to take care of, you want me to take care of them? I got them. So it's like, wait, 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 we gotta talk about this. So they're debating on what to do with Starlight. Do they want to punish her? Do they want to do this, this, or that? And they're talking about, like, how do we know that she's not gonna go out and cause more trouble for everybody? It's like, <clears throat> so I was like, I got this. They finally call in Starlight, and she's like, I'm ready to accept any kind of punishment I got in store for me. So it's like, equestrian law, or something like that. I was like, I feel you, but you know what? We're not gonna punish you. You know what he said? I got something else for Because if you're willing to learn, I'm gonna teach you. And you can learn about the magic friendship, and you'll be hunky dory, and you can just like try to make the question just a little bit better by trying to learn how to be a good friend. And you know what? I'm gonna hook you up. We got your back. So, so I start hanging out with the main six, doing the thing. And then it's like she goes back to the village where she was running it for the first two episodes. She apologized to the ponies. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like really sorry. Like really, really sorry. So, and then they go back to Ponyville. And everybody is all buddy buddy. They get all extra buddy buddy. That's in the episode. That's in season five. Oh my gosh. What a season! You know, I, I don't say like I love seeing the fight scenes like that because it's just so 
Because it makes me think of the IDW comics. It could be a whole episode that you think of the IDW comics. Like, really, yeah, because they do some stories just like that. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. What was your favorite episode of all of season five? I really like this season. I really did. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this is just. She wrote for that. That's all she wrote for that. So it's fun, real. Like I go, it was with the Google and <laughs> And yes, 